Welcome back to the channel of Kim Pacific and before starting the video I would like to suggest you to go and check our previous videos uh, so that you have to solve problems you solve karne wale hai, iska understanding aapka aur se ho jai. Now let's get started. Now the first problem that we are going to do is from June 2019 part B and they are asking for the number of metal metal bonds in this complex. So before we start it is very important for us to understand the nature of this ligand. Number one, this complex is having two metals. See, here are two. So, it means this bridging ligand it is getting bonded to two metals at the same time. Now, let's see how many electrons donate. So, phosphorus is having electronic configuration 3s to 3p3. When it is resulting in the formation of PPH2, this means that it will result in the formation of sigma bond with 2PH. Formation of sigma bond. Now, it is very much, very much clearly it is uh, visible to us that when mu PPH2 jo hai, ye metal ke saath, ek metal ke saath, ek coordinate covalent bond formation kar sakte hai aur dusre ke saath normal covalent bond formation kar sakte hai to kitna electron donor hai ki yaha pe ho gaya aapka do yaha pe ek so this is three electron donor now let us calculate so you are having CP in the eta 5 mode so this is 5 electron donor valence electrons of nickel is 10 and just now we have calculated this to be 3 electron donor so 3 kar lete hai into 2 so this is equal to 36 since it is consisting of 2 metals obviously agar iska total electron count 36 ho jayenge to ye ban jayenge stable so ye agar stable hai to definitely it is clear to you that there is no formation of any metal metal bond now let us uh, Study it in detail as well. This structure is draw kar lete hai. Ye jo nickel hai, to iska jo nickel hai, isme koi metal metal bond formation nahi hai, to hum nahi kar rahe hai. And iska jo mu PPH2 hai, yaha pe do hai. clear and then it is having 2 cp so individual jo metal hai kya waiting electron rule satisfy kar rahe wo bhi ek bar check kar lete hai now yahan pe thoda sa aap logo ko aur better understanding ke liye main ye dikha rahi hu iske sath ye aise coordinate covalent bond formation kar sakte with the lone pair aur iske sath ise ek ek electron denge similarly ye iske sath coordinate covalent bond kar sakte aur ise ek ye ek electron to total ek nickel jo hai it is getting Three electrons from the two bridged ligands, right? So it in individual jo hai electron count kar lete hai. So nickel jo hai, you see, nickel is having valence electrons 10. 10 plus 3 kitna ho gaya? 10 plus 3, 13. Plus CP ka 5. To ye ho gaya 18. Yes, individual metals are also obeying 18 electron rule. So this is perfect now let us move on to the next question this is from december 2016 part b they are asking for the number of bridging ligand they are asking for the number of bridging ligands and the metal metal bonds of this complex before studying the complex let us uh, again give a look at this ligand ye ligand jo hai ye kitna electron donor donor ho sakta hai so this is uh, very easy Up आराम से इसे कैलकुलेट कर पाओगे सो यू सी ये टू इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर होगा और ये फास्फोरस होगा तो ओवरऑल ये हो बन जाएगा लिगेंड फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर नाउ लेट अस सॉल्व दिस सो यू आर हैविंग रुदेनियम व्हिच इज हैविंग द बैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स 8 सो यू आर हैविंग रुदेनियम व्हिच इज हैविंग सो देयर आर टू रुदेनियम so, it will be 2 into 8. Plus, you are having eta 5 mode, CP, you are having 2 
cp so 2 into 5 then you are having 2 co so 2 into 2 and then you are having this ligand which we have already calculated it is 4 so total ho gaya hai aapka 34 lekin ye complex ko agar stable hona hai to ye kitna hona chahiye tha 36 lekin kitna hai 34 so which is equal to 2 electron less and this 2 electron can result in the formation of one metal metal bond clear so now it is very much clear to us that it is when it is forming one metal metal bond then it becomes completely 36 and it becomes stable so ye to aapka complete ho gaya that it is resulting the formation of one metal metal bond now the next question is number of bridging ligand this is a very important question now see rhodanium jo hai Rhodanium जो है ये एक metal metal bond ये हमने अभी अभी calculate किया तो उसका तो कुछ problem ही नहीं है और फिर ये भी हम लोगों ने calculate कर लिया है this is four electron donor two to each metal right now इसके पास cp भी है Clear? तो यहाँ तक अगर हम देखते हैं तो फिर इस टा इंडिविजुअल जो मेटल है इसका काउंट करते हैं। तो रुदेनियम इस हैविंग द वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एट, एट प्लस टू टेन, टेन, एट प्लस टू टेन एंड टेन प्लस फाइव इस फिफ्टीन। एंड इट इस गेटिंग वन इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम द आदर मेटल, सो ये हो गया आपका सिक्सटीन ठीक है तो यहाँ पे इसके साथ एक एक इलेक्ट्रॉन मिल रहा है फ्रॉम द आदर मेटल सो इट इस हैविंग सिक्सटीन सो इसका क्या होना चाहिए इसका अगर आप इसे ऐसे स्ट्रक्चर करते हो तो भी ये 18 इलेक्ट्रॉन सेटिस्फाई कर रहे हैं इंडिविजुअल जो है है ना 16 प्लस 2 17 18 अगर ये स्ट्रक्चर आप ड्रॉ कर लेते हो तो फिर आपका आंसर क्या होगा नंबर ऑफ मेटल मेटल बॉन्ड इस वन फाइन ठीक है इन तीनों ऑप्शन में वन है एंड नंबर ऑफ ब्रिजिंग लिगन वन लेकिन यहाँ पे कोई भी नहीं है ठीक है सो बेसिकली ये स्ट्रक्चर ही मोर प्रेफर्ड बिकॉज़ रुदेनियम का साइज इतना अप्रोप्रिएट नहीं है फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द ब्रिज लिगेंड वो हम ब्रिज कार्बोनेन लिगेंड तो वो हम अपकमिंग वीडियोस में भी डिस्कस करेंगे एंड सो ये स्ट्रक्चर अगर हम करते हैं फिर ये हम आंसर के लिए जो क्वेश्चन से में दिए गए हैं उसके लिए ये हम अच्छे से एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर पाएंगे सो so, अगर हम इसका स्ट्रक्चर जो है ऐसे कर लेते हैं तो इसका ये तो एक मेटल मेटल बॉन्ड है तो इसका स्ट्रक्चर हम अगर ऐसे कर लेते हैं इट इज रिजल्टिंग इन द टू कार्बोनेट्स फिर ये इंडिविजुअल जो मेटल है ये इतने डिफरेंट सेटिस्फाई कर लेते हैं एक बार फिर से हम चेक कर लेते हैं रुदेनियम जो है इसका हो गया आपका एट ठीक है उसके बाद एट है फिर नाइन टेन 10 plus 5, 15. एक metal metal bond के लिए 16. And then you having 17. And then you having 18. Yes, individual metals are also obeying 18 electron rule. So the answer जो आपका अभी है, तो एक metal metal bond, this is already done. And you having three bridged ligands है ना? तो आंसर क्या हो जाएंगे? आंसर हो जाएंगे आपका three. It is having three bridge ligands and one metal metal bond. Now let us move on to the next question. This is June 2016 Part B. Identify the species those obey the 18 electron rule from the following. So now let's do this. This is in the CP in the eta five mode. So definitely it is five electron donor. Copper is having valence electron 11. And you are having one CO, so it is donating two electron. So this is 18 electron. About this, this is obviously again in the eta 5 mode. This manganese is having valence electrons 7 and it is having two CO. So from two CO it is 2 into 2, 4. So ye ho gaya aapka 16 electron. And the next one, this is also again 5. Chromium is having valence electron 6. And then you are having 3 CO, 3 into 2, 6. So, ye ho gaya 6. So, this is 17 electron. And therefore, and what about the D? So, D is about D you are having in the eta 5 mode. This is 
5 and vanadium is valence electron 5 you have 1 2 3 4 4 uh, co so 4 into 2 8 so this is also being 18 electron so it is very easy question and you see that a and b d both of them are obeying 18 electrons the answer is 4 a and d now the next question this is very important and interesting as well so in this uh, complex you see there are four metals right two cobalt and two iron there are four and this is in the mu4 form uh, so this ligand this bridge ligand pph it is actually getting bonded to four metals now let us understand this so phosphorus is having electronic configuration 3s2 3p3 so this is uh, pph is the bridged form it is resulting in the formation of sigma bond with resulting in the formation of sigma bond with a four metal and the phosphorus is having electronic configuration 3s2 3p 3p3 it is also having one vacant d orbital it is also having one vacant d orbital So, this will result in the formation of when it result in the formation of sigma bond with this. Now, it is completely well explained how is this ligand in the mu4 form. Four electron donor. See. Take it. तो यहाँ पे अभी ये pH के साथ एक sigma bond formation कर रहे ठीक है so now in the mu4 pH in the mu4 pH आप देख सकते हो इस हैरिंग four unpaired electron इसका result in the formation of covalent bond with four metals as well so this is four electron donor clear so let's draw this complex and let's do its total electronic count so this is very important ये बहुत अच्छे से आपको clear हो जाए nature of the ligand इसलिए मैंने lecture one में बहुत अच्छे से explain किया please do watch that आपका बहुत अच्छे से concept clear हो जाएगा so this is cobalt this is having valence electrons nine nine into two iron is having valence electrons eight eight into two there are three co so each is two electron donor how many of them eleven and just now we have explained you how is this ligand Four electron donor, so it becomes four. And here, two is so four into two. So, this total, how much has been? This has been eighteen into sixteen, which is equal to sixty-four. Now see students, you are having four metals. So obviously, as because you are having four metals, so कितना हो जाएंगे four into eighteen इतना follow करेंगे, है ना? To be a stable complex, तो total होना चाहिए आपको seventy four, seventy two होना चाहिए. और आपने कितना calculate किया T C? T C हमने calculate किया sixty four. So this will result in eight electrons. ठीक है. Now see students. Uh, from unitary method you can calculate that since two electrons result in the formation of one metal metal bond therefore eight electrons will result in the formation of eight into half from unitary method which is equal to four metal metal bond so this is very important question and as i always say ki is type क्वेश्चंस अगर आप समझ जाते हो उसके बाद भी अगर आप उसे प्रैक्टिस करने लगते हो तो इंपॉर्टेंट है कांसेप्ट को समझना क्वेश्चन को समझना याद रखना एग्जाम में आए उसे सॉल्व करना उससे इंपॉर्टेंट है कि कांसेप्ट और साइंस को समझना ताकि इस टाइप का अगर दूसरे प्रॉब्लम आए आप इंडिपेंडेंटली उसे सॉल्व कर सको क्योंकि मेरा जो मोटो है वो मुझे स्टूडेंट्स को हर एक क्वेश्चन के लिए मेरे ऊपर डिपेंडेंट नहीं बनाना है मेरा मोटो है स्टूडेंट को कंसेप्ट और साइंस समझा के इंडिपेंडेंट बनाना है ताकि वो इंडिपेंडेंटली सारे क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर सके दैट इज व्हाट आई वांट नाउ लेट अस मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ लेट्स रीड दिस क्वेश्चन हिटिंग अ सैंपल ऑफ 
This results in the formation of this complex with the elimination of two equivalents of CO. The metal metal bond order in the re in this reaction changes from this to this okay now uh, what kind of information that we are getting that with the elimination of two equivalents of co now see one co is two electron donor agar two equivalents of co hai to ye kitna eliminate ho gaya four electrons ye eliminate ho raha hai aur agar dono hi if both this complex one and complex two अगर दोनों ही 18 इलेक्ट्रॉन है तो फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन कैन बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय टू मेटल मेटल बॉन्ड्स तो यहां पे एक इंफॉर्मेशन हमें मिल गया है और इसे हम और भी अच्छे से सॉल्व करके देख लेते हैं क्या होता है अच्छा पहले हम करेंगे कि मेटल 1 जो है इसका TC कितना है टोटल इलेक्ट्रॉन काउंट कितना है हम देख लेते हैं दिस इज 5 6 and you having 3 CO so 3 into 2 and overall you multiply with this so this is equal to 17 into 2 34 electrons and what about the 2 Complex 2 ka total electron count hum karke dekh lete hai. So this is T is C. She is having it a 5 mode. 5 plus 6 plus 2 into 2. This into 2. So this is equal to 15 into 2 which is equal to 30 now since it is ha having total electron count 34 so therefore total kitna hona chahiye tha 36 hona chahiye tha hai na so isme kitna metal metal bond hai isme aapka one metal metal bond hai And since it is having 30 total electron count, so total hona chahiye tha kitna? Total hona chahiye tha aapka 36 for the complex to be stable. Lekin iske paas hai 30. So you are having 6 electron less. And this 6 electron will result in the formation of 3 metal metal bonds. Clear? So you see the complex one is having one metal metal bond and this complex is having one metal metal bond and when you heat it it results in the form elimination of two equivalents of CO and it results in the formation of two and this two complex is having three metal metal bonds. Clear? So one is changing to two and in one you are having one and this is having three so the answer is three so the metal metal bond order in this reaction changes from one to three this is having one and this is having three so job ye heat kar rahe ho aap ye complex ko job one ko aap heat kar rahe ho when you are heating to kya ho raha hai students yaha pe do CO eliminate ho gaya hai and it results in the formation of two and this is one is having one metal metal bond and two complex is having three metal metal bonds right so it changes from one to three so the answer is three from one to three so let's end the video over here only to so the next part of the video we are going to continue in our next upcoming video so please do like share and subscribe